We are looking at the impact on Lake Zerinsky's foot traffic following a dangerous situation. A woman actually having to fight off a man who grabbed her trying to take off her shorts out there this week. WOWT 6 News' Colin Irwain spoke with visitors today to see what precautions are now being taken. When the sun is shining and temps are mild, it's a given that this place, Lake Zerinsky, will see a crowd. It's a beautiful day. It was, it was not something I wanted to miss. Pretty soon we're not going to be able to walk. It's going to be too cold, so you got to get here when you can. But recent news of an attempted assault taking place here has some runners like Meg Rawson a little uneasy. Disappointment, just sadness in humanity, I guess, but I think there's more good out there than there is bad. and. It's anywhere you go, really. But is it enough to keep her off the trails? Not exactly. In fact, that's the same mindset shared by many. At least once a week, usually, sometimes more. It just depends on how the week goes. <laughs> I'd say five out of seven days I'm here doing something. From kayaking to running, some days even biking, Marcy Rowe says she refuses to be afraid of one of her favorite places, but she is taking precautions. I will never come, of course, at dark or even at before sunrise, but I end up, but I will probably still be alone frequently. I'll bring my pepper spray. And while it is unfortunate, it's also a new reality for several Zarinsky enthusiasts. Probably just a sign of the world that we live in, I guess. And uh, when you have this many people down here, they're bound to be a bad apple once in a while, I guess. In Omaha with photographer Myron and McHugh, Colin Ruane, WOWT 6 News. Police say it's safest to run alone. If you can't do that, they recommend you carry pepper spray. And here's one more thing to think of. Skip the headphones. You know, it's harder to hear somebody come up behind you when you've got those on. Very good advice to follow.